For a day at least, British politicians put aside their divisions and united to mourn one of their own. The Prime Minister and the Leader of the Opposition laid wreaths where Conservative MP David Amos was murdered on Friday. Police arrested a 25-year-old British man and are investigating the killing as an act of terrorism. Reverend Clifford Newman is the Minister at Belfast, the church where David Amos had been meeting constituents when he was fatally stabbed. He was a person who genuinely liked people um, and tried to help them as best as they can. So um, for this to happen to somebody whilst they're trying to do some good in the community is really, uh, well, you worst can't express it, you just don't understand it. A good man and a fine public servant, says that message. A true gentleman who supported his community, says one down here, and there's another over there. Thank you for your dedicated service to our community for so many years. So many of these tributes have a similar message. David Amos died doing something that was integral to his job. He was out there meeting the public face to face, but it raises the question, are MPs safe enough? Although Westminster can seem like a fortress with armed police never far away, most MPs have little to no protection when they're in their constituencies. And this is the second MP to be murdered in five years. Joe Cox from the opposition Labour Party was killed by a white supremacist in 2016 on the streets of the area she represented. The Home Secretary has launched a safety review. There are measures underway right now. I've convened meetings yesterday. I've been with the Speaker of the House and with the police and our security services to make sure that all measures are being put in place for the security of MPs so that they can carry on with their duties as elected democratic members. One Conservative MP, Tobias Elwood, says face-to-face -face meetings with constituents should be stopped until they can be moved online. In 2017, he tried to save the life of a police officer fatally wounded in the Westminster Bridge attack that left six people dead. But many more MPs say meeting the public is a vital part of their jobs and the functioning of British democracy. And even a tragedy such as this shouldn't be allowed to disrupt it. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Leon C in Essex.